Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Battletech with Zebu's Marauders. We have moved slightly into the inner sphere, into the Free Worlds League territory, the world of Claybrook, taking on our first mission and we took some damage. We had a lot of our mechs get damaged and we even had one of our mech warriors killed. Take a look at the memorial wall. Sad day, Rifle was hit by an enemy Jenner and destroyed. Only lasted 42 days? 42 to 80 days. I don't know why it's not a specific number, but alas, she is no more. Destroyed with her mech. Sad day, but we shall move on. We've, uh, you know, got a business to run here. And that business does rely on pilots, but it also relies on mechs. Let's take a look at our mechs. And as I said, we took a lot of damage. So we got... We currently have three mechs that need weapon replacement, including this new fire starter that we got built. We built this guy off the wreckage of the last mission. So we actually did get a bit of a bonus from that last mission, even though we lost quite a bit as well. So let's take a look at these boys. Let's see what we got done to do here. Um, the urban mech just needs a repair, so we don't have to worry about much there, I think. Let's take a look. Let's refit just in case. Is there anything? No, it looks... Looks okay. What's this heat sink doing in his leg? What's his heat efficiency look like? Good heat efficiency. Um, I want to move this heat sink. Move the heat sink to his head. Does that change the heat efficiency at all? Nope. We'll cost 500 credits to make that move, so we'll confirm that. Because it's very rare you get shot in the head. Oh, and we don't really want to lose our I'll heat sink. He's got a done. big old bubble head, so that's fine. Okay, uh, f next what's most important, maybe actually adding some weapons to the fire starter might, might actually be important. Could take us the least amount of time, too. So what can he have? So he can have a support weapon, two laser weapons in each arm, support weapon and auto cannon in each torso, two laser weapons and two support weapons, so... The fire starter can have all kinds of weapons all over the place. Now it's obviously known for flamers, but we only have one flamer. How many machine guns do we have? Two machine guns. How much am machine gun ammo do we have? We have two. So let's weirdly let's start with support weapons. So we're gonna give him a flamer. Then we're going to give him a machine gun in each arm. Just to sort of, I don't know, spice things up a little bit. Because they're supposed to be short range dudes. Okay. So that's good. We've got uh, seven tons left to worry about. And basically we don't have a lot going on here. We've got auto cannon and a large laser. Uh, let's see. Large laser is five tons auto cannon five is eight tons so we can't even fit the auto cannon five so we're looking at just a large laser i think weapons are more accurate if they're in an arm they're also more vulnerable to getting destroyed Let's see, does it say anything? Bonus to... Maybe I'm crazy. You know, that, that weapons are more accurate if they're if they're in the arms than in the torso. But it seems that way. Because, um, you know, there are times... I've, got, I've seen mechs that have like four medium lasers. All firing at the same range, obviously. But then two of the lasers will have a plus 5% chance to hit because they're in the arms. That's the way I see it. Anyway, but if I put the large laser in the arm, it's going to have a much more, much larger chance of being destroyed. Yeah. Um, let's 
the heat efficiency look like here? Ah, this guy, need, he needs some more lasers. He needs some more lasers. Do we want to spend money on, like, more flamers? There's a flamer plus plus. Hmm. You know, more medium lasers, buy him an auto cannon. I don't know. I don't know about this. I mean, the flamers are cheap enough. But again, I am kind of a cheapskate, so I don't want to spend too much money. We don't need an auto cannon, too. That's a long range weapon. It's not really a lot of great. There's auto cannon 5. How much do medium lasers cost? 66,000. So we could use like new weapon systems available. I don't know why I'm buying weapons now. I have no idea why, but now that I'm in for a dime, I'm in for a dollar. We're also going to buy this plus plus new flamer available. and a regular flamer. We're going crazy now. Okay. That's enough. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, uh, so the medium lasers go in the arms, correct? Yes. And then we're going to move this flamer over there. Put this flamer here. Put the plus plus flamer in the middle. And we're two tons overweight. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's probably, like, get rid of the machine guns. Yeah, so we'll probably, uh, just get rid of the machine guns. You keep the machine gun ammo, get rid of that, too. So we're now one ton underweight. How much is a heat sink? All right, one ton. So we could definitely use a heat sink on this mech. Take a look. Yeah, we still got the uh, still got quite a problem with heat if we alpha strike. But it's a pretty dangerous mech. It's a pretty dangerous. It's a scout and disabler. Give it a large laser. That's probably the problem. Is the large laser. But it gives it some interesting abilities, so we'll confirm that. Okay, Logged just wasted a lot of money on that. Be too hard. All right. Commando 1B. Let's uh, repair everything. Okay, so we, oh, we lost our special short-range missile launcher, SRM-4++. Lost a medium laser jump jet. Two jump jets. Boy, we lost a lot of stuff. All right, so what do we got for you? You got no weapons. You got a medium laser, and that's it. We got a lot of missile launchers. How many tons you got left? You got five tons. Hmm. So we could replace him with... Uh, we got to put the jump jet back, I think. At least one jump jet, which is... Oh, we have two. Put one back. Two back. So there we go. We got our jump jets returned. So now we have four tons available. Which is not great. SRM-6... That gives us one ton available, and and we have no SRM ammo. So we're going to have to check the store, buy some ammo. We're going crazy. We are going crazy with the cheese whiz here. Buying too much stuff. Spending too much money, but you know what? We got to get these mechs back up and running. Set. New it's not available. great. I'm not happy about this. We're spending too much money. 
I guess you gotta spend money to make money, correct? Correct. Again, this is a pretty pitiful mech. One medium laser, one short range missile. So before it had a short range missile four and two medium lasers, but we don't have any more medium lasers. 116,000 it's gonna cost to fix it. Ouch. Ouch. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And then this guy, I'm, I'm not even sure that we can fix this guy. He doesn't have a lot going on here. Okay, he just lost a long range missile five. Got the ammo, so okay, easily replaceable here. There we go. Long range missile five. Okay, no problems. Twenty nine thousand five days. Looking good. Looking good. Probably shouldn't have fixed that other commando, right, honestly. Now we manage the tasks and we put them in order. So the urban mech will move that up one day. Uh, the commando move that up five days. Fire starter move that up. Commando is probably the least important thing, so we'll keep that last on the list. All right, there we go. So one day we'll have our urban mech back. So it's going to cost take us at least six days to do anything. How are we looking mech warrior-wise? Let's see. Uh, we got three pilots. Zebu is out for 15 days. Harpo's yeah. out also for 15 days. So, we don't need to recruit a replacement for rifle just yet. We can wait 15 days. But I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to sort of chill out in orbit for 15 days and see what happens. Just sort of get our stuff back. We got the upgrade to the Argo power conduit coming up pretty soon. You know, we don't want to start oh, another repair. Upgrades you asked for? Online, Commander. Okay, thank you. Financial report for you, Commander. So here's our financial report. Current funds were down to six hundred fifty-three thousand. Operating expenses two hundred thirty-nine. So we're getting up there in terms of operating expenses, and we're spending more money than we're making currently. So we've only got two months of operating time available. That's incredibly low. So. These next few missions that we go on are going to have to be very profitable. We're going to have to wait. We're going to have our two pilots back. And then we're going to get the fire starter back. All right. So we've spent enough time. Day one of week 15. Achievement unlocked. Years of sweat. Don't know what that means, but it is unlocked. Okay. I, I think we want to stay here for now. We've got a couple of contracts that we can worry about. You know, we got to start moving up to these level one contracts. So we've got one more half skull contract that we can take on. Letter of Mark. The Merrick, the Merrick citizens have been suffering at the hands of local brig brigands. Remnants from a Capellian battalion that saw action in the Third Succession War. With no prospect of funds, they become common criminals. You are to eliminate them down to the last mech and vehicle. That sounds like it could be a pretty pretty big combat mission, even though it's only a half you know, a half skull there. It's only two hundred thousand, but it should be a mission that we can take on without without too much damage. So I think we're okay there. But if we stay here on this planet, we do have several things things to go for this however interests me the lyran commonwealth one of the five successor states uh, it's ruled by house steiner so house steiner is where i come from i'd like to like get in with these guys so we got at least one lyran commonwealth mission we can do and then we got some missions for their enemies like if you look at the enemies of the lyran commonwealth it's uh both what is that? Merrick and what's the other guys? So this is the Capellan Federation and the Free Worlds League. 
Okay. So maybe we don't do these missions for the Capellan Federation. We sort of start ganging up on the Capellan Federation. So then we can do the, you know, or maybe we do them all. I don't know. I mean, they pay a lot. All these pay significantly more. Anyway, we'll figure that out. We're going to save that, I think, for the next episode before we do the mission. I don't think I want to do all of this now and then throw a mission on top of it. That'll be quite a long episode. Is there anything else we need to look at real quick? Reputation. I mentioned I want to get in with the Liar and Commonwealth. Right now we're at negative 10. So that's sort of you know right in the middle. Mercenary Review Board, we're rated as 40. So our rating is going to continue to go up, hopefully. Once it reaches this first level, I don't know what that means. We're going to gain like some sort of rank, I think. So that will be interesting. Everybody else, we're sort of average. The Free Worlds League is starting to like us. Magistracy probably likes us the most at negative 3. Um, the Pirates hate us the most at negative 17, followed by the Capellan Confederation. Torian Concordiate. I don't think we've ever dealt with these guys. Who are they? Located Rimworld of Terra beyond the Federated Suns, House Calderon. Okay. And then the Arano Restoration. Who are these guys? Uh, remnants of former... A Regan coalition driven from power by the treachery of Espen. Oh, this is from the story mission. So we haven't run into any of these story mission guys because we're not doing the story missions. We're just, you know, we're not doing that. We're doing our own career mode. So those guys are now just a faction in the world that we can come across. Interesting. Okay. Um, we don't need to customize our anything, navigation, engineering. No. We're good for now. So we're going to come back next episode and do one of these contracts because everything else is pretty much stable right now but because of our funding situation these are some very important missions coming up so we're going to end it here and come back with the mission so until then we'll see you later bye bye